Hi, I'm Andrew Proudman, and today we're going to talk a little bit about one of the most common thoughts that people are having as they're singing the gospel. Now, when I'm coaching, I tend to ask a lot of my students, you know, what are they thinking when they're over the ball? What's going through their mind in order to, to hit the ball, hit the ball well? Now, one of the most common things I hear is keeping my eye on the ball, or I'm trying to keep my head down until after I've hit the golf ball. Um, and I keep on hearing this over and over, and over and over again, and a lot of people think that keeping their head down when they hit the golf ball, or keeping their eye on the ball, is the secret to hitting a good shot. Now, today I'm going to really show you how that is definitely not true, and some of the negative effects that has on the golf swing. Now. A lot of people may have been told by their friends if they ever, um, for instance, top the ball or, or, or miss hit it in any way, they, they may, may have been told that they've lifted their head too early or they look for the golf ball before they've hit it. And generally, that never happens in the golf swing. And actually, some of the better players in the world, when they hit the golf ball, their head or their eyes isn't even looking at the golf ball. So when you think that actually you've looked early, it's probably not a bad thing actually sometimes, but certainly, generally, it doesn't tend to happen and that certainly doesn't make um, you top the ball or thin the ball. Now, a lot of people are focusing on keeping their head still or keeping their head focused on the golf ball. Now, yeah, we are looking down at the golf ball, but we don't really need to focus or think so much about keeping it still. It does remain fairly still, but what tends to happen in the golf swing is that the head will actually rotate to the right and then rotate to the left. Why? Basically because the upper body is going through a lot of rotation. So the shoulders are working a lot in the back swing and therefore the head, as you can see, will rotate. As we swing through the golf ball again, the body's going through a lot of rotation so you can see that it will rotate through as well. Now if I hit a golf ball keeping my head still or keeping my eye on the golf ball, you're gonna see the effect that it has on my body. So if I demonstrate one here now, So as you can see that, even though I've hit a decent strike, you could, have, you could see what's, or how the, the, the thoughts of keeping my head still or head down limited the amount my body could work. Now that will not only limit the amount of power I can get, but it will also make it very hard to strike the ball consistently. So a big part of, of uh, hitting the golf ball consistently is allowing that body to move. And the head, as we swing the golf club, will naturally move through with the body. As the shoulders and the body move through the golf ball, the head will move with it. And the eyes will tend to sort of almost follow the golf ball. So, if I demonstrate a shot to show you the difference between the two swings, you'll see quite a clear difference in the golf swing. So, as you can see there, quite a different finish position where my chest has turned through. Again, you can see the head, as I hit the golf ball, move through the, through the impact area and face the target. Try that at home, I can guarantee that will improve your distance, but certainly improve your contact. Thanks for watching, have a great day.